All right. Thank you, ARC Observations for Offshore Wind Energy for uh, inviting Sail Drone to present at this conference. Uh, I'm John McGonigal. I'm the Director of uh, Acoustics and Undersea Systems for Sail Drone. Sail Drone is a cost-effective multi-mission uh, multi solution above, under, and on the ocean for persistent and reliable data. Absolutely can help offshore wind energy. We are, uh, you know, our vision is for a healthy ocean and a safe and sustainable planet. And we do this by collecting data with our, our proven uh, USVs. You can see here some of the things we do above sea and subsea, and we'll talk about those in detail here. Well, you know, what do we actually provide? We have no spatial temporal limitations. We've operated in the Arctic, Antarctic, Pacific, Persian Gulf, Atlantic, all over the world, multiple months, uh, thousands of nautical miles per mission, uh, everything from bathymetry to fisheries. Uh, again, Great Lakes, ocean. Here we go. So what do we have? We have a global fleet of drones. We design and manufacture these. Uh, here at Sail Drone in Alameda and also in Mississippi. We do maritime domain awareness, ocean mapping, and ocean data. We're wind and solar powered. We monitor the planet in real time, above and below the surface. Three different vehicles, Explorer, Voyager, Surveyor. Uh, they, uh, they focus on different missions. You can see here on the slide, uh, they're all able to... Uh, Again, be no spatial, no temporal uh, restrictions. So how do we uh, enable any partnership with our mission, our data as a service? What we have, we have a group of pilots that kind of oversee uh, our, um, our USVs and what what we do is we uh, offer a, a mission portal, which is a secure application for real-time data access and visualization with external data integration. So you can see that data near real-time uh, and you can also manage where these sail drones go and what, they, what, they, what data they gather for you in real-time. So on the fly analysis, uh, analysis, adaptive sampling, email-free collaboration and your data your way to, uh, to get the mission done. Okay, some, some examples of above sea capability. So this is a meteorological and oceanographic mission uh, currently ongoing in the Gulf Stream at already 235 days. Um, the total project length is gonna be 26 months, six vehicles for 12 months uh, in some of the harshest conditions uh, on the ocean through hurricane seasons, these sail drones operate uh, and provide this uh, METOC data. Okay, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance mission. This is in the, uh, this example is from the Persian Gulf operating with uh, Task Force 59 in Fifth Fleet. And what that did was use our camera system to provide real-time maritime domain awareness to the, to the US Navy uh, in the Fifth Fleet area of operations, the Middle East. So again, a completely different environment. You're in extremely warm water uh, versus colder water in the, you know, in the Atlantic or where we've operated in the Arctic, in the Antarctic, et cetera. Um, Using AIS, radar, visual, and our artificial intelligence algorithms, we're able to detect and uh, give real-time notification of contacts operating in the Gulf. So given that maritime domain awareness to the US Navy. Subsea capabilities, um, fisheries. So we use a uh, active fish finder technology and we're able to monitor and estimate fish populations. We do this in Alaska. We also do this in the Great Lakes. So freshwater, seawater, completely different uh, 
different environments. You see we're in the Bering Sea and we can operate here uh, for multiple months. You can see we launched our drones from California and in transit uh, over 2,700 2, miles. That's typical for, uh, for getting our drones on station and then doing the mission as a service, data as a service. Bathy, so uh, bathymetry surveys. Um, this is an example of a surveyor mission. We collect uh, quality bathymetry data and this quality is as good as any NOAA ship for a fraction of the price it would cost per day for a NOAA ship to do this and you get the same data. Uh, you can see here, 40, over 4,100 miles, or sorry, kilometers map, uh, mapped in a line in total over 22,000 square kilometers and depths of over 5,000 meters. In development, and this, this uh, will be done by winter 2022, is a passive acoustic array that will allow us to detect, classify, and track marine mammals, as, as well as man-made uh, man uh, shipping. Uh, it'll consist of 16 hydrophones, nested line array with a tetrahedral, have a capability from seven to 25 kilohertz uh, it, with directionality. Um, and we believe that technology along with our camera system, our AIS system, our radar system is, uh, you know, provides a very cost effective solution for, uh, for offshore wind. All right, with that, I wanna thank you for your time and I will be at, uh, I will be available for questions or discussion. Really appreciate it. All right.